better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. Yo, what's happening, Jin Giants? Welcome back to our channel. Hey, GGs. Welcome back to our channel. Back with another video. Um, we are off to Botswana. Plain and simple. We Here are we just going off to Botswana. So, our Botswana GGs in the comments, hey, say hi. Yeah, should I? Yo. Sorry, Lewis guys. Who was on the meet and greet in Botswana? <laughs> our Botswana GGs, say hi in the comments section. Um, The main reason why we're going to Botswana, you will see in tomorrow's video <laughs> the main reason why we're going you will see in tomorrow's video but for now we're going obviously um we're taking you guys along for yeah now, but you you're gonna be spending the day with us or a few days with us yeah and doing whatever we get up to yeah then you'll find out in tomorrow's in tomorrow's video <laughs> what we're gonna be doing the main motive yeah for Botswana. but if you're new to the channel please don't leave without subscribing if you're in on this channel welcome back babies um, this is our second time going to Botswana. The first time we went, um, we'd gone for what? Just traveling. Yeah, just well, to like, see the country. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd been before, then I was like, let's go. It's chilled to sort of like visit. So yeah. then we were like, okay, let's go. Yeah. Did a road trip. Yo, like, yeah, you remember the route we used also, guys? We Thank God right now we ever. have an Isuzu MUX which is perfect technically this car is an everyday everywhere car but right now it's even better for the possible routes we might use Mara that day we just we were typical like travelers put on the GPS not try and look at the road and all of yeah. that then we got stuck in it the put us through. it put us through gravel road right and it was raining day before so the gravel road also had obviously a lot of puddles and mud, mud. And December with the low, low, low car, um, one of our cars, and at some point it started, it got stuck, <laughs> and I had to come to the driver's seat so I can drive, so all the can try and put like brakes under it so that okay. there's oh, traction. Guys, yo, and then at some point through the mud I fell, mm. and I and there were there were obviously bugs within the thing because as soon as I stood up, guys, I had like an allergic reaction on my thigh. Because I think, baby, you know what? It was grass, actually. It wasn't grass. It was no grass. It was there was a bit of grass. Yes, no, I remember that grassy. reaction is the grass. You you know when they do allergy tests? I, I mean, I've use... never I've done an allergy test. Mm -hmm. I come out... Yeah, she in Japan, like, peeps. <laughs> but, yeah, so now we are going with the most perfect car. Pro and... tip, guys. Get yourself an Isuzu. <laughs> Get yourself an Isuzu for these type of situations. Yeah, so, but, yeah, but the... So it was just a road trip now and then we'll show you guys where we stay and then yeah the, then the real fun i guess for you guys begins tomorrow but guys no, also today. but guys also i just wanted to say like i don't know if it's i don't know if it's me or or, or it's us but Botswana, in terms of like hot accommodation hi buff it like uh, in the comment section down below, people from Botswana, please give us names of accommodation in Itembi, Libuti, Abole, Asia, Keep. Like, it's giving luxury, guys. We've tried looking for like good accommodation, but we're struggling. Not hotels, so don't don't give us hotels because hotels can be, I don't know, like quite public, right? So like maybe um villas um guest houses ish. now you know, guest you know houses what, are Uba, quite dodge but yeah, your most trusted accommodation that you trust would say it's giving luxury there's beautiful it's views giving exactly there's private a pool if possible um yeah and you it's know clean. what in that defense, now we're not going to tell you obviously now exactly where we're going to be staying because we're going to show you where we're staying and all of that. Mm. But to that defense, the part of Botswana that we are going to, I I sort of like, in a way, get Excuse it. Me. We did find proper accommodation, but it was way too far. It wasn't in the normal, normal Botswana. I don't think so, baby. Even the one that's far. 
Babe, the I think the one that was better. Me, I don't Babe, think... the one that was just a few. Like, no. then I got to eat together because Babe. I know we weren't going there. The accommodation... It, I gave is up Is that because... the accommodation the whole country is to bring? I... No, oh, but I'm saying... I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Smuggle to our country, Ayala. Yes, and it's timber with certain accommodations. See, keep her this, keep her this, keep her this. Guys, Ninga keep her, Ninga is good one, and Ninga keep her. Because I just feel like I struggle to find accommodation, like proper accommodation where I'm just like, I'm on holiday. Anywho, I just thought I should vent. Like, it was, but is frustrating. And the thing is, it's the second time's experience, I don't tell you, but anywho. Let's go, babe. Let's go. Yeah, we're out. But we got some, obviously, you can't do a road trip without Wimpy. So we got some Wimpy. Uh, but we also have some refreshing, some very refreshing papaya. Tell me your wife without telling me your wife. I literally prepped some papaya for her and I to share because we like eating this together. Mm, mm, That's mm. good. <laughs> mm. Slaps. Mm. So we're gonna refresh with this. Then we'll have, have this food, later. Then have papaya after. Uh, before and after. This is oh. our continental. <laughs> it is a smuggling. <laughs> So, so, and one for full tank at Tizen. I'm going to get the first thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a What's a road trip without stopping on the side of the road and taking a few snaps? Yes, it's so it's, hot. It's not even a road trip. Yeah. Guys, it's hot. Also, where we're going is 34 degrees today. It's 35 tomorrow. Then the third day, it's 39. But where are 39. That time in Joburg is 26 today. Yeah. It's going to be 30 tomorrow yeah. and 31. Yeah. Like it's hot. Oh. No, don't touch it. Baby again. <laughs> hey, I want to touch it. Ah, yeah. Let me touch it, no. babe. Oh, my wife was sleeping, my friend. My wife will sleep, hey? She will sleep. Princess treatment. Ah, yeah. Princess treatment will be. My wife is fascinated with this park. Leave that park, bro. It's struggling, babe. Struggling to what? I think she. Yeah, yeah, park. Eh? Leave it. You don't know what it has. It's got like, nothing. No. Man. Leave it. Yeah, Gigi, let's continue with our trip. Uh, we'll see you guys later. No. No. Okay, see you.
So we finally made it in after a few Nyana hassles, but we'll chat about that later. But we're finally in Botswana, and I think we're about 48 minutes from our accommodation. 45. 45. 45 minutes of accommodation. So, yeah. Alright guys, Swandi is looking for his ice is cold, okay, we'll say it's totally what the watch. We'll say it's totally But it's in Ah Ritzenang Tenang Ratzenang Tenang Yeah Ritzenang Tenang We are here So we finally arrived in Khaboroni, we've made it to our accommodation and we're going to be giving you guys a quick room tour of where we're staying. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of the place and yeah, without any further ado, let us get right into the room tour. So we are staying in the Kingfisher Villa and this is our entire space. So you enter through that side over there and you come all the way through the side so this is our entrance sort of like area and if you continue straight that way uh, that's like the picnic spot uh, so let's go into our villa obviously parked our beautiful beast over here we actually haven't unpacked as yet but you come through this side and this is where you enter Welcome, hey Gigi's and welcome to Botswana. We are at Waterside Cottages in Gams and yeah, we're staying at a nature reserve and we are staying in the Kingfisher Villa. So as you enter into the villa, you have a nice kitchen, so you have some cleaning supplies if you need. Did you bring an iron bed? No. <laughs> we have an iron, luckily. Um, you have... Um, uh, semi stocked up fridge so they do provide you with breakfast but the breakfast they provide you with is um, what do you call this continental, continental breakfast so yeah and then as you come in you just have a stunning kitchen where you're able to do what you need to be doing you have a nice um, actually it's fully stocked kitchen in terms of equipment mm -hmm. yeah then you have some bread for your Continental breakfast and some cereals and a stove, counters, etc. Some water to keep it refreshed. Um, there's also some fruits and like some cheese as well in the um, yeah. The beautiful um, stunning lamp. They are not a lamp light on top. Mm. Okay. As you continue to this side, you have a nice lounge where you're able to relax. I do wish that this was a one seat, like a, a two seater couch that together so that I can put my leg on my husband and just relax and not just have it be occasional chairs, but it does look nice. So yeah, have a nice lounge, TV, yeah. Okay, then when you enter, okay, obviously some decor, 
when you enter this side you have our bedroom stunning bed big bed nicely decorated you have some storage there on the left um, for your luggage and your clothing and then you have a nice place where you can relax I guess and do your makeup or do what you need to do anything that you need to do have a nice mirror in you Angela guys my hair is messy have a nice mirror <laughs> and you have a gorgeous gum <laughs> you have a cutie you have a cutie and a nice vase this is a very pretty vase I love this Mm. And yeah, side side tables just a beautifully put together bedroom. When you come over to this side, you have our bathroom. That's where the magic happens because you didn't say in the bedroom. That's where the magic happens. So the magic happens here, <laughs> like this. Make of that what you wish. <laughs> When you come over to this side, you have um, a toilet um, to do what you need to do. And then when you come over to this side, you have a beautiful sink. It's not double sink, but it is quite big. And you have a mirror, and you have a cutie, and then some towels. And then on your right, you have two showers. Mm. Yes, I didn't notice. Yes. I didn't know it was two showers. Eh? Two showers, one yala, one yala. So you can shower looking at each other or your backs to each other. Oh my goodness, what Make up and what you wish. <laughs> so the magic really does happen in here. True. This door leads you to the outside. Let's I'll go. show you guys Should what's on the outside. This side. This side? Yeah. No, Rhonda. Okay. Well, I should come again now, like guys. Guys, like that is from everywhere. Is this how many yaw my shower? No. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Thank you. Because godly. <laughs> Alright. So the door that we came in with, you're able to come out. Come through here. So you obviously have all the lights, keys and all of that over there. You have a a towel rack for your pool towels. Yep. A nice table to relax. Have some cold drinks. Right? Oh, yep. And then last you have um, a bright area as well here. Some charcoal, baby. We do need to bring our own. Yeah, so they actually provided us with all of this mm. for our bright, but we also brought our own stuff. Mm. And this is the shower door. Yeah. This so, is the shower door. So, it, it, in a way, it actually becomes like a semi outdoor shower. So, yes. you can open it while yes. having a shower. Yes, that's and, definitely what I'm doing and tomorrow. En and enjoying the nature. Yes. You can unclip here. I think there's a cliff over here. Yes, 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 yes. This is what there I'm doing we go. Tomorrow. Yes. Woo. Then you automatically have like an outdoor or half outdoor shower type yeah. of vibe. And then last but not least, you have a standing plunge pool. It looks quite deep. It is quite deep. Eh? It looks quite deep. Oh. But yeah, you have a standing plunge pool. And obviously, you can see over there, there's like a an open, open area that's the place where you're able to do some viewings of some animals when they do pass through because we are staying at a nature reserve yeah and yeah guys that is our stunning stunning place so yeah Gigi, is in the comment section down below let us know what you think of the place um personally for me i love this place this is one place i definitely come back to um it's really really stunning. stunning it's a bummer that we're only here for three days yeah but yeah it's, it's very, beautiful very stunning. and it's a bummer that we took our time listen yeah we took our time to get it like after six it's going almost to six. six yeah it's almost six but listen to our defense the pictures don't do this place justice yeah so it's just like ah nothing major so we took care of a little st um, some stuff before we left took care of some emails work quickly and then you're like yeah then we can go yeah. if we knew it was this standing we probably would have put in more of an effort to get here 
on time. Yeah. But also, they did say we should. They said check in is no is no earlier than one o'clock. So you can actually check in at before one o'clock. Before ten. Yeah. Before two. Yeah. Before two. Whereas a lot of places generally you check in at like at two o'clock. Others even three. three. So yeah. So that was pretty cool. So make yeah. sure that you come to this place, visit this place. Oh, check in is home. yeah. It is quite it's hot. It's so hot, but it's a stunning place. So, Excited to be here. Um, we might have to do a lot of the things that we need to do quickly so that we can spend more time in the villa and enjoy it. Yeah. And Anywho, but yeah. Yeah, guys, let's you take a look. Tell us more of... places we can visit, guys. Like yeah, here, Tembengan, because yeah. we found this one. <laughs> you guys recommend places. For yeah, let us know. Let us know which other places are as dope as this in yeah. Botswana, and we're definitely going to come we'll back. We'll come back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let's go take a nice shower, unpack, <laughs> and just. Hey GG's Yo GG's Just took the most glorious shower ever We're feeling so refreshed uh, Gonna go out for dinner now uh, The area we're in is in a game reserve So it's slightly or more like isolated uh, But it's actually like 20-22 minutes from like the city centre area um, so we're gonna go see what we can grab for dinner. Nothing we didn't do is buy some cards. We didn't exchange any money. Um, it's just vibes. Luckily the Wi-Fi here is quite good. So that's sort of like what we've been using so far. Um, but at least to put in the GPS isn't much of an issue. Uh, obviously from here it should take us the end back, hopefully. But yeah, so we're gonna go grab some dinner, come back. Another thing we need to do, but we'll probably do it tomorrow, is that we're planning to do a braai, to have a braai. Um, but they took our meat at the border. Uh, apparently chicken, lamb, beef, and maybe other meats are not allowed. So we were able to come in with our vors. That's the only thing that's allowed, apparently. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go buy more meat um, for our braai and yeah. So that's the story of our lives at this current juncture. But yeah, let's go to dinner and we'll see you guys later. Ciao, Vito. So this is dinner. We got some butter chicken curry, some rice and some naan. We initially went to a different restaurant, which is like two minutes away from here called Zoro Restaurant, I think. We got there and it was closed, unfortunately. So we had to take like a 20 minute drive. To this restaurant chutney indian restaurant i think that's what it, that's what it's called and we had to wait 40 minutes for this food <laughs> so an hour in total actually even a bit more than that but yeah this is the food we're having for dinner gonna eat and then yeah do a bit of work then sleep but yeah i i would take that the wrong combis my word The food. Maybe I should have taken some lamb curry to be different, but yeah, let's eat.
morning, GG's, top of the morning. Um, hope you guys are good. And hope you guys are well. Uh, today's a new day. Um, taking a walk, morning bush walk. Um, and yeah, I don't think I'll leave it So there's an old place I actually wanted to go check out within the area, which is like the picnic spot. So I don't know how you actually get through here. As cute as the cows, but we don't want them in. So. This is where I'm at right now. I think I need to sort of like open this. Okay, okay let's see. Okay, look, so I think they don't want the cows in like they say here. So, part of my walk, I wanted to check out the picnic spot. There's like a damn... There's like a damn man alarma as well. Damn, whatever, man alarma. Which looks nice. But I think this area ends here. You can actually go down. Oh, at La Manzla, there's a crocodile. But anyway, Gigi, so like I said, it's a new day. Um, yesterday we did something quite cool, which you guys will see tomorrow, especially for you. The main reason why we are here is in tomorrow's video. Um, <laughs> so make sure that you do check it out. Um, but yeah, now I'm just taking a walk, uh, gonna take it easy, shoot a bit of content later, then we're gonna head back home. Um, but yeah, what one has been good, this place is absolutely stunning. I think this place is doing around to proper planning. And the thing is, the next time we wanted to come to Botswana, we actually wanted to go to the northern part of Botswana. Um, but seems like this place might attract us. Maybe we'll start here for a few days, then go to the northern part of Botswana and just make it a trip. Uh, but there are cool other safaris around here. And, yeah. So I'll turn Kube and Leila. And, yeah. I'm a gangster. 
colleague of Nanda. So this area has like numerous picnic spots. Um, let me show you this one. So they call it a picnic spot, but maybe the other side is a picnic spot where there's like flat and lower lying ground. But I think what I think they're referring to is actually this. So it's this area here. Ooh, it's this area here where you can like sort of like come chill here, do whatever. There's a bin, there's a view, and there's quite a few trees, so at least you protected. So this is not really the route I came with. I came with a different route. But let's see where this one takes us. I think I came through that side because there's another picnic spot there. That's the first one I saw. Um, but so yeah. I think this might be another person's room. Okay. Yeah, so here's some signage here. This is the side I came through with. So I came in here and went all the way that side. Should be good enough. Alright, just use the Mona Lita. Morning, Gigi's new day. Oh, I don't want to leave. I don't wanna leave, I'm so mad, but yeah. Um I woke up much earlier than me. He decided to go take a walk or a hike. I don't know. But he went into nature this morning. And I just stayed in bed. Whew. With my own thoughts and feelings. But yeah. Hope you guys are good. We've come to the end of the vlog and I'll stay in Botswana. So I took a nice shower. I love how the shower opens up um, through by the pool and you it kind of feels like an outside shower. Um, Hubby came back and he had a swim. We showered and had a swim and then showered again. But yeah, it was a beautiful morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning. But we're getting ready to head back. Hustle and bustle of Johnny's back. Before we leave, I am actually going to so I don't know if I'm going to Gabs or close to Gabs but we're going to pick up my sunglasses. Um Marang wanted to give me some sunglasses from her line. Her line is called Um Tati, which is sun. Beautiful. I already have a pair um that I wore in Sri Lanka. My Sri Lanka get ready with me. Yes, that's where I wore the pair. Um, for online so going to get another pair and I'm really excited because it is a summer and yeah Tati sunglasses are it they are definitely it they are stunning guys yo even the quality is amazing so but it's all yesterday so I'm gonna go get my glasses and head back to Johannesburg or South Africa rather anywho yeah I don't know if someone else can see by you guys <laughs> they didn't ask. So since I was again, hey GGs, top of the morning again. Off to South Africa. Um and yeah man, shout out to Otona, thanks for having us. It was a very short stay, like at least I'm mm. It was a short stay because this place is absolutely stunning. Mm. I wanna find out 
if the other villain, because I saw another villain look like there's a pool as well. I thought this was the only villa that has a pool, uh, but there might be another villa that has a pool. So I'm going to find out from the owner. Then maybe the next time we come here, I'll we'll come back to that. Yeah, place. we'll try and we'll stay at that villa. But yeah, oh, man, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay <sighs> tuned for tomorrow's video and enjoy what we got up to. Enjoy tomorrow's video. Enjoy guys. tomorrow's video because we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it, Nita Lila. So we decided to add a bit of spice uh, to the video. Bye. Yeah. yeah, I'm wearing Harvey's cap because it's time for this week to come off, but I don't have the strength to properly make it look proper. But because it's good quality here, what you're seeing is good. Anyhow, thank so God for husbands with caps. <laughs> so I'm on my king. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>